Hey, hey there. I'm uh, doing some food prep for the week, and I have a video out on this that's really short, so if you don't want to see the long version, you can do that. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to start it. It's basically my uh, tacos with some extras in it. So I'll have it I'll like taco casserole for lunch, and tacos for dinner, and some other things. I'm going to make my keto taco shells. They're really simple. And uh, get started. Whoa. That loosened up quick. Let me give that a nice torquing too. So I pulled out the big pan here because usually I cook a pound, sometimes two pounds of meat. I have three pounds that I need to cook. So I'll be uh, browning that up in here. My big 12 inch pan is too small. For just barely makes it for two pounds, so for three pounds, the, the frying pan just isn't going to do it. I rarely ever use this pan. This is a really nice KitchenAid pan that I bought long ago. I don't use it often, so it's in pretty good shape. Just break it up. Taco tool here, a meat smasher. I don't like too many things on the grill at once, on the grill top at once, so I'll cook these at a slightly lower temperature. I know it's kind of late for most people, so uh, I don't know how many of you will actually be on tonight. This is something I would usually like to make during lunchtime because it covers a lot more people during the live sessions. And here I have my sausages. These are some really good um, sweet Italian sausage with a little more kick than usual. Um, I do have some patties as well, but uh, all I'm going to do is slice the casing off here and pull it off and I will I have a separate pan here going, and I'll cook those as well. Try to take them out of the casing. They're not being cooperative coming out of the casing. I think it's because I had to uh, defrost these in the microwave, so they're partially cooked. They're not being as friendly as they could be. Next time I'll remember to take them out beforehand. Turn the stove down a little bit more on that burner. Oops, sorry. Move in front of the frame. There's the other sausage. Let's that guy open. If uh, you're new to the channel, give a holler, say hello. And if you're not new, say hello anyway. I'll love to hear from you. You know, some of you work and can't pretend to be working and watching at the same time. You can see it's really sticking to this. Like I said, I wish I had uh, remembered to take this out of the freezer earlier. But now I know the defrost setting is not very good for this, but it'll have to do. See if I can't show you both. Down and low.
not a big fan of this tool. It seems to work well. The same here for the sausage. I would have liked to have had two sausage. I like to use one to two. One per pound at least. Definitely two for two pounds. And three pounds would have been uh, ideal. Yes. I'm sorry, three sausage. Sausage is just about cooked already. Probably because it was uh, partially cooking in the microwave. So. It's alright. Like I said, if you're new, say hello. Let me know where you're from. Love to hear from you. Okay, so the sausage. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it at that. That's done. That cooked up really fast. Usually when I'm making the taco casserole, I have the really fatty um, ground beef because I've been using the fatty ground beef for the, uh, what do you call it, the keto meatballs I like to have them on hand for. I've only made keto meatballs a couple of times. However, uh, keto meatballs, the way I make them, they usually dry, so the fattier meat helps that. Hey Howard from Michigan, how are you? Thanks for joining us, thanks for saying hello. If this is your first live, I'm, I don't believe I recognize your name, I could be wrong, apologies if I am wrong. Let's kick up the keys here a little bit. I've got my uh, peppers and onions, these things pre-sliced are expensive, it's like three bucks each. But I was in a hurry, and I wasn't going to have the half an hour I needed to start cutting all the veggies up. I'm also going to put for some kick, some uh, rotel. I used to use this when I made my queso. I could still make queso. Uh, however, the chips of the problem is the carb uh, value of those. Terry, thanks for joining. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in so many groups. I haven't been able to post lately because I've just been so busy with everything. Um, so I appreciate you stopping by. I appreciate you saying hello. Uh, you may or may not know I have my own Facebook page. It's kind of small right now because I have to start from scratch. When, for whatever reason, Facebook decided to shut me down saying I was doing stuff I wasn't supposed to, which I had no idea what that is. They won't tell you. So they shut me down. There's nothing you can do to appeal it. They say you can appeal it, but it never works. And then they did it to my newest Facebook page. Um, and then they came back and said it was an error on their part. So I don't know if uh, they did it by accident or somebody reported me and said, hey, blah, blah, blah. And then Facebook. I don't know. It's Facebook is Facebook, right? Oh. Is that Michaela? Oh, it says my sister attacked it. Wondering if you could do a full day of what you eat on keto. I do the entire month of February and only last five months. Um, I can do that. Uh, I see a lot of people doing it and I like it, but it requires so much planning to do a video like that. And I like these lives because it's off the cuff, but I can certainly uh, do that. But keeping in mind, uh, hey, how are you? Long time. <laughs> Thanks for stopping. Michaela, yeah, no, no worries, thank you. Greg, where is the onions, garlic, bell peppers? Okay, here is the uh, green peppers and the onions. I bought them chopped just to save some time. And for the tomatoes and some of the other chilies, I'm just going to use Rotel instead of chopping it fresh. This is to how to make it uh, quick. Um, now for keto, keep in mind, onions do have uh, natural sugars in them. So if you're completely trying to avoid sugars, 100%. Um, you would uh, not put in the onions and you wouldn't use tomatoes either for that matter so uh, some people also put um, oh what's that vegetable vegetables in general okay um, not squash 
Uh, one of those green vegetables. <laughs> it's slipping my mind. Someone will remind me. Uh, where are the onions? Oh, okay, Greg, I just read that. Yeah, Greg, uh, first I, I, I pre-cook uh, the meats because um, I don't want to put any... I don't want to overcook the uh, veggies and stuff in there. And I want to say that this is pretty much done, so I'm going to drain some of the fat out of this. This is always the fun part. Zucchini, yes, thanks, Greg. All right, I'm gonna turn the heat way down now. I'm gonna add in my uh, sweet Italian sausage. Like I said, for those just joining, I wish I had three defrosted. I only had two and they weren't defrosted, so I used the microwave to defrost them, and that was kind of tragic. Kind of screwed it up a little bit. Okay. I got the heat way down. Uh, for three pounds of ground beef, I'm definitely going to use two cans of Rotel. I have used uh, just diced un uh, tomatoes before, but this is what I have. Uh, this whole can, uh, this is a half a cup, what is this, uh, 10 ounces, so serving size, two and a half, all right, so this whole can is actually like 15 carbs, 12 and a half carbs, but this is also over a week's worth of food. Yeah, Greg, um, I don't know if you can see that or not, that light might be too strong on top, let me turn it off for a second. So we got diced tomatoes and green chilies, it says. Um, tomatoes, water, chopped green chili peppers, and some other garbage. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna toss in the first can here. I have a regular can opener, but this was a gift, so I use it. Now, I can stop right there for tomatoes. Again, natural sugars and tomatoes, but you're better off having tomatoes over a Twinkie, although I prefer a Twinkie. Um, look for, a, like, a taco. Um, I, I, ha I might have this in my Amazon store. If you look in the link in the description, uh, but it's like a, a taco um, spatula or something they call it. I'm not a huge fan of it, but there's several different designs of this, and the other designs would be better. I actually should have drained the fluids out of there. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> All right, next. So... When I make my own, um, I think I explained this on my last live. I have my taco seasoning that I used to buy, and uh, it's got corn, it's got carbs in it, you know, four grams of carbs for two teaspoons. And that's a lot uh, when you consider that I got to put at least four in here. So I researched, grabbed a couple of recipes, put in what I liked. And now I make a, a tub worth of taco seasoning at a time and uh, I throw in what I need. Uh, looks familiar, I would add some canned pinto or soap cooked half chopped cheese. Yeah, looking, gonna be doing plenty of cheese, so don't get me wrong. Uh, I'm not a fan of beans, to be honest with you, um, Greg. It has to be buried deep within a food. <laughs> For me to eat it. Um, so I think uh, two tablespoons of this. And uh, this recipe is also, and I have a video, recent video that I, when I do the, this casserole, that I do this in there. It smells really good, and you know exactly what you put in it. You can add a little more, you know, a little less, whatever to your liking. Uh, 
sorry, let me know if you have problems finding this taco or this chopper thing. Uh, I'll get my onions here. Oh. Okay. I probably could get away with putting more onions in there, but those are, again, natural sugars. So that's just kind of what I'm trying to stay away from. But we got uh, my green peppers in here too. Good. Now a couple of things. This has to uh, really uh, uh, heat up. If I wanted to, I could probably add a little water and put a, a cover over this to let it steam up and uh, to help cook along those uh, green peppers, onions, and tomatoes. But I can let this sit. Now there's two things I usually do here. Is I will throw in like some cream cheese, depending. If it was a pound of uh, ground beef, I might put in uh, two to four ounces. I hate cream cheese, but you don't taste it. And this is one of those things that uh, are not bad. The only thing is uh, cholesterol. So if you're dealing with cholesterol and stuff, you may know you can skip this out. So I'm gonna put some of this aside separately without it for Donna, because she wants to avoid the uh, extra uh, cholesterol. Got our birds, pet birds, nuts from the stuff down there, always so fresh compared to store bought. Yeah, you know, I'm one of those people, I have to see the food. And, um, you know, we had a strike, I don't know if, uh, you know, stopping shops in this area, uh, well, I think it was at least in the United States, but I always shop at BJ's, so usually I uh, depend on word of mouth to find out where to find these things. So, uh, and nuts in general are good for like almonds. They're good, uh, you get a quarter cup of almonds or a small handful of almonds. If you've got cholesterol, quarter cup a day, handful a day, that's good for you, just not too much. Some nuts are better than others for keto. Uh, almonds are probably not the better ones, but it's better than, again, having a turkey. What's your uh, favorite? Uh, Nuts there, I mean, the good ones, they're so expensive, you know. Um, wow, this smells so good. You know, um, after smelling this, I really think it could use a, a, another tablespoon of, um, of uh, taco seasoning. Now, since taco, the, the taco, uh, I'm lost for words, the taco uh, sauce there, I don't use it anymore. So I depend on uh, other flavors to kind of help it out and uh, moisture, I like the moisture from it. But um, I got tomatoes in here, so. Ooh, almost forgot one thing. That would have been dreadful. Uh, I'm gonna heat up the, the breville here to uh, 350. this this way uh, there we go so what am I doing with the breville on well I'll show you cumin coriander chili powder and maybe some smoke pat for my tacos yeah I tell you I've come to appreciate the um, homegrown foods more these days. Um, let me get something for in there. There we go. I need 
that. So instead of using my usual nine inch um, parchment rounds with and without the holes in them, I picked up these slightly smaller ones, which is good for what I need. So what I'm going to do, oh, dark chocolate. Yeah, see, dark chocolate is one of those things. It's like uh, one of the chocolates you can get away with. Um, so. I got my $5 scale. I got it uh, Christmas time. So I am going to power that up. Now I call like my nachos cheater nachos because of the way I make them. Uh, however, um, I, and I'll use, uh, you know, because they're, you might, it's all, everything's usually pre cooked and you just microwave it to heat everything back up and heat the cheese. I also have my fathead dough taco shells and um, you know uh, wraps tortilla wraps however what I started doing this is quick and nice is uh, you get two ounces of cheese and I'm using in this case Colby Jack which is shredded Colby and Monterey Jack cheese and I'm gonna get two ounces on there I got 1.9 ounces there. We'll start with that. And I'm going to uh, lay it out in a circle. And see if I can open this up without making a mess. And uh, I had dropped the cheese on one of these ones because I didn't hold it properly. I'm going to get that one in there. Grab another one of these. These are eight inch rounds, I believe. I don't want to go smaller than eight inch. Um, so I'm gonna, I hope I have another two ounces here, or close to 1.9 ounces. And it's probably a little short because uh, I like to uh, pick up the cheese. There should have been even two ounces here. But I see it, I eat it. So this will be short, a little bit cheese, but that's okay. I have another bag, but of course it's frozen. And I am going to stick this one in there as well. And this needs to cook anywhere, depending on how you like to cook it, I should say. Um, I did it once at 15 minutes and then 12 minutes. And basically when it's all nice and bubbly and has a, a, I'll go to 375, that might help it cook a little quicker. When it gets all nice and bubbly, then you take it out. I put it in my taco molds. I call it taco molds. but. Really, it's just a taco holder, it's metal. And then you could just leave it at that. Or you could put it in here and then put it back in the oven and toast it even more. That's awesome. So then you get a crispy shell. So this is pretty heated up right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some out of here and save it for my wife, Donna, so that uh, she doesn't want the cheese on there. So. I'm going to grab somewhere in here. Oh, I know you're here somewhere. Sorry, I'm blocking the camera. It's possible. Oh, you know what? I bet she used it yesterday when she made her soup. So I'll just grab some of this, put it in here. As you can see, that looks uh, pretty nice right there. You can eat it just like that. All right, and she can work on this for the week. And now, with what is left here, again, there's a little too much liquid in here, it'll start to burn off, is I am going to put in some of that cream cheese. I could probably do it without the cream cheese myself from a cholesterol level, but, um, you know, hey. There we go. 
instead of putting in the full eight ounces, I'm just going to do six. That way it's not so, uh, uh, you know, avocados just don't look appealing to me. Green foods in general, anything green that appeals to me are like money, cucumbers, and some other stuff. I'd be willing to try avocados. I've been looking at the avocado oils and sprays for like prepping food. So instead of using extra virgin olive oil, because avocado oil has a much higher uh, smoking temperature. So it's more ideal for some foods. Um, so yeah, I, I really need to give it a try, to be honest with you. So let me pop this in here. And I can't help but the, ah, I know what I'm missing. Now I just remembered what I'm missing here. I don't have this recipe written down for some reason, and I always forget something. I had a big lunch today because I filmed a video with a big lunch and uh, so I didn't have dinner because I'm not really hungry. And again, also optional, but I got sour cream here. Uh, one carb for two tablespoons, but again, so this could be, this is actually really heavy in carbs, this whole thing. This probably got at least 30 carbs in it, but this is like eight meals, you know? So it's not that terrible. And again, cholesterol. So let me make sure that this is uh, squeezed out. I think it'll probably be easier if I just squeeze it without the cover on. And I'll just put the... Boop, 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 boop. Okay, that's good enough. That's enough cholesterol, Mario. You don't need to lose weight and then cause cholesterol problems for yourself. That's the first time I bought the squeeze of the sour cream. And the reason why I bought the squeeze was because it had a longer shelf life than the stuff in the container. Uh, it could be that it was just in fresh stock, but I thought it would be easy. Hey, squeeze, it comes right out. No. Next time I'll just get the uh, container and just make sure I get one that has a long, that just came in stock so I can, because I don't go through a lot of that stuff. I'll have, I'll have that forever kind of thing until it goes bad. I buy it at BJ's. I buy it at the supermarket. Well, stop and shop. I'm coming to the realization they're very expensive. Um, and I say that because, you know, three dollars for those chopped onions. Granted, yeah, you know, you're saving you time and stuff like that, but that's still three bucks. But I could pick up like two big bags of chips. I don't buy chips anymore from BJ's. It's like a two pack, and you get it for like seven dollars. Two big ones. You go to stop and shop, and it's like five dollars for a single smaller bag. You know. Granted, I will say one thing is the chips are usually in better condition at Top and Shop, but not always. So, my favorite taco tool is, uh, I don't see it in here, but it's basically a wooden stick, wooden spatula with a flat tip. People, some people get upset. They say, oh my God, cross contamination. You know what? We've been doing that stuff forever. Never got sick. Never got sick from my own food. So, so I reduced the cheese. Now, you can do two things here. And the first time I made this, I just, uh, smiles. Uh, yes, good. Okay. Um, the first time I made this, I just put the cheese all over this and melted it. And that's good if you have a bunch of people eating this and you serve it up like a casserole. However, uh, since I've been having this as lunch, and I'll just take a, a scoop and have it for lunch, I like to, uh, I'll heat this up in the microwave for like 30 seconds, and then put the cheese on and heat it up for another 45 seconds, so that's enough to melt the cheese. Now, what I really need to, I wish I have a, a lot of dishes in the sink, and it's probably some of my kitchen tools from there, I do the cooking, so... Uh, we got nine people on board right now. If you haven't given me a thumbs up, please consider doing so. It puts a smile on my face. Or send a smiley face in the chat window. That's always great. So, heat's on really low for this. I'm going to let it continue to simmer so that um, 
we get some of that uh, fluid evaporated, some of the liquids. Fluids. Is this a doctor's office? Very nice. Looks good. I think I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to take a taste of it. What do you think? If you want me to take a taste of it, give me a thumbs up. Ooh. I want to take a good spot here. There we go. Yeah, uh, I used to do lives. There's my face now. I used to do lives every, all the time at lunchtime, when I had the time at lunchtime from work, but I don't have the time as much anymore, so noon time is the best time, because uh, as I mentioned, uh, if you were here at the very beginning of this one, uh, a lot of people from, uh, you know, across the pond are on here, and when they're watching my lunch, it's their dinner time, so it, they like watching it, so. Not bad, however, I believe I could still use some more of this. And I think the reason why I'm saying that is because the sweet Italian sausage, um, there's usually more of it and it gives it a lot of kick because the sweetest, uh, I think it's Gianelli sausage. It's a lot more stronger taste than the usual sausage I get, sweet Italian sausage. So I don't have to put as much of the taco seasoning in. And the Gianelli sausage, sweet Italian sausage, it has uh, less carbs than the Wellesley Farm or the other brand I buy, and it's bigger. So that's kind of why I have it. Um, I put some aside for you. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Let's take a look at the uh, taco shells. See if I can't get this over there. Oh, yeah. Those are looking nice right now. I'm going to let them sit in there for another minute, and then I'm going to take them out and put them in the taco molds and make a mess. That's what I'm going to do. Thank you. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> enjoying it. Mm -hmm. I put a lot less of the uh, sour cream and the uh, cream cheese that I usually do, so you probably enjoy this, too. Okay. I thought I won't enjoy this, just I don't want all the extra cheese. Okay. I'm going to attempt to pull out the um, hey buddy, you better back up. cheese out of there. And to do that, I'm going to use this so that it, it doesn't flop over on me. Pull them off one by one. Ah, there we go. Uh, yeah, in the live stream, as uh, you've probably heard me say in the past, I like the live stream because there's no video editing. So if I do an hour live stream, there's like a little prep beforehand and some cleanup after. But the video I shot today, uh, you know, I had to get everything together, uh, cook everything, you know, edit the video. So I spent, I, I did a quick edit. I didn't get super fancy. So uh, that being said, uh, you know, it only took a total of maybe four hours to do to, with the editing, but I still got to post it and edit it and advertise it and all that kind of stuff. Um, ooh, see that? I forgot to put this in the taco mold because I was talking. Now I'm upset with myself. Oh no. Okay. Well. Uh, I have this upside down. <clears throat> so, this one's a little short on cheese, and I could say that because um, this is like whole. So, now I'm going to put this back in the other way it is to crisp it up a little more and hopefully have it hold its shape. Uh, unfortunately, the shelf is too high here, and it's going to hit the um, Heating elements, so I'm going to tear off the finger tabs here. I'll have to remember to lower that next time. Now I can stick that in. 
and I dirtied another pan. I didn't want to do. And I am going to turn this timer way down and turn the heat way down. 325. I ruined my taco shells. That's disappointing. Not ruin them. They're just not going to hold up the way I hoped now because I screwed that up. Okay. So uh, I'm uh, depriving people of my uh, mixture here. If that light's a little too much, I just have a throw a little light on top, my uh, video light. Let me know. This is with the light on, and that's with it off. It's probably not too much of a difference. But the battery's dying. I gotta throw in. I got a new set of lights that I bought, 20 bucks. Yeah, it was a steel with rechargeable batteries, and uh, I just I want to do an unboxing. Okay, I really think this is done. I'm gonna turn off the stove here. take those out. Now, fortunately, I didn't think about this too well. Um, there we go. That wasn't too bad. Uh, I'll turn this handle the other way so I can put my taco shells right there. Uh, I have some olives actually too. Hey Donna, yeah. can you grab the sliced olives downstairs please? Um, so there are the taco shells. Like I said, I make the tortillas as well with the fathead dough. And what I'm going to do is uh, soak up some of the oil there because I mean it's cheese, you know. What I mean, I call it a taco shell, but who says I can't call it whatever I want? Easier to just dump all that oil. Oh, I cut that, shut that off real good. Ah, I forgot about lettuce. Well, I'll have to skip the lettuce for today. So I'm not gonna break that out right now and chop it up and clean it up. Like I said, I always forget something. If I knew specifically I was going to have a taco tonight, I would have um, I would have chopped the lettuce first before I got in the air. Take some paper off and drain this out. Okay. These olives went on sale. I buy them. BJ's at a by the case. I think that light is a little bright to be honest with you. It's uh, I think messing up the the look of this. There we go. Or maybe it's this. I don't know. It looks odd off on screen. So I am gonna quickly pick this up so I don't burn myself and I'm gonna start to put together this taco. I'm gonna now, the problem is, is this is cheese, it's gonna melt. So I really should have waited for this to cool down a little bit more. So I'm gonna continue to use this uh, taco shell holder thing in here. It's cause it, it's gonna get hot and remelt. And I will set this right here. Do you want me to make you your taco, Donna? that in and we don't need any of the taco sauce because 
frankly, this has all of that in there with the tomatoes and the spices and everything. Do you want any cheese on yours? What? Yes, please. Cheese. More cheese. A little more cheese. A little more cheese. I wish I did cut that salad up. That's kind of a bummer. You know what else I used to love putting on tacos is I'd have rice from the day before and I would reheat the rice and uh, throw that on top and that was pretty awesome. You want any olives on yours? No, thank you. Okay. Get some olives on mine. They never stay on top, they always go everywhere, so it is what it is, whatever happens. Ah, love all this. Oops, a little drippy. Okay. So there is my taco. And like I said, unfortunately, I do not have the, uh, uh, the lettuce. But what I can do here to make this easier, more done, I will take her taco and put it in a separate plate. She can have her taco. All right, whenever you want yours, it's here. So we're running out of spaces. Give me a second. Be back in this yeah. All right. So there is my you me to take plate taco. Too, like yeah, you can take everything. I got my own plate. Don't you need this taco shell? Hold it for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, take you. My, uh, um, whatever rice I had, sometimes I, uh, I forget the name of the rice. It was, uh, mid, mid-eastern rice, I think it was called, it was a BJ's thing. And what was the other one? And just some, like, Uncle Ben's type rice. Uh, Spanish rice, no, we, uh, if BJ's doesn't have carry it, I usually don't buy it. Um, but there's that. I don't know how well you can see that. Uh. I'm not sure how to eat this, folks, so you can see my face and the food. Let's see what I can do here. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's good. I'm eating good twice today. Yeah, Greg, I tell you, um, I just nuke it a little bit at a low power. And that's the one thing about microwave. Microwaves aren't the greatest thing. However, they're great for popcorn and certain foods. I don't like if I'm reheating chicken, but if you adjust the power level to like one or two, and you heat it for a longer period of time and have a little cup of water in there. It helps with the moisture, keeping your food bad. Again, it's not as good as cooking it fresh. It's not as good as reheating it on the grill or the oven or whatever, but it's better than going full blast. That's good. Um, now, it is greasy mm -hmm. because after all the taco shell is cheese. Um, what else? Um, it's the cholesterol is going to be high on this because of the cheeses. Uh, carbs, I don't know how many carbs this is, but if I was to have this one taco, it's probably like a couple of carbs, maybe three carbs, depending how much stuffing you put in there. But if you were to eliminate the tomatoes and the onions, well, You've eliminated the majority of your carbs. Right, 
Yes, yeah, he's looking at me and we have a, we've had a dog for almost three months now, two and a half months. He sees me eating. I wish I had defrosted the cheese because I think I could pound back more tacos. I mean, it's sitting, I used to be able to pound back before I, just before I started keto. I could do five tacos easy. And then on top of it, we're not talking Taco Bell small tacos, we're talking tacos. And, uh, and then even after that, you know, there's always something you're eating or drinking. Um, Greg, is uh, Spanish rice and like, uh, what is it called, dirty rice, are they similar? Because I'm picturing Spanish rice, it has some uh, darker rice grains and some lighter grain, and I just remember something about dirty rice, so I'm curious if that's the same thing, or along the same uh, line. <clears throat> Hopefully Greg is still there. Let me refill my water here. Diet Coke, but I got addicted to it when I had to go overseas because I couldn't stay awake because of the time difference. So I quit Diet Coke. I kept quit Diet Coke and caffeine cold turkey back in December. And, uh, I will, sometimes I really wish I had something on the water. I grabbed these from my mother's. They're um, this little package you drop in the water. It's a little strong for a bottle of water. Jolly Rancher, the only thing it has um, aspartame in it. However, Having one of these as a treat, well, once a month or once every couple of weeks, it's probably not uh, terrible. Yes, Jen, it does have a good crunch. And uh, it would be really easy. You can make that in an air fryer. I don't call it this an air fryer recipe because when I do that, I cooked it, uh, not to get off track, I cooked a breakfast sandwich once. I called it an air fryer breakfast. <clears throat> and for the ease, I cooked the... Um, eggs in the pan because it was just quicker and I did one in the, in the air fryer as well but I got called out on it so you could cook those cheese that cheese in the air fryer but in the oven the breville especially if you're going to cook a lot of them because in the air fryer you can cook one at a time and this I can take two at a time and the big oven I could cook um, a dozen at a time if I wanted to mm -hmm. if I have you know put those pans in three six nine twelve yeah a dozen of those and for each taco uh, shell I make was two ounces of that Colby Jack and uh, you know the seven inch parchment and unfortunately the parchment rounds dumped out onto the floor and I'm not gonna I'm probably gonna end up having to toss them because once the parchment paper hits the floor you don't know if it's picking up dust hair or whatever unfortunately so uh, very good there we go got some more olives here I came over very good that's good. The wife enjoyed it. So I got these olives here. And the reason why I'm eating more is A, because I want to B, these will fit in a small Tupperware container I have after. So that is my nine o'clock dinner, which is not good of me because I should be doing what keto calls, uh, you know, fat well, fasting, but I try to do like at least 16 8, which basically means all your meals. Uh, you know, 16 and 8 is 24, so you're 24 hours, and you try to eat your meals all within an 8-hour period, so you're fasting for 16. Uh, on a good day, I'll eat lunch and dinner, and that's it, so I'm doing like a, an 18-6, but unfortunately for today, we're talking, this is going to be a 12, a 15-something, and uh, I do have, uh, <clears throat> my brother said, if you're feeling hungry, drink water and wait a half an hour but sometimes I just can't so I have a couple of cubes of cheese so I'm not giving my body a chance to uh, you know do what it's supposed to do and you know the insulin levels and all that kind of stuff I'm, I'm not a diabetic or anything but uh, you know there was some insulin word thrown in there I think it was so that's that uh, sorry I, I fell behind here uh, my niece said rice and ground beef mixed together yeah um, 
Where? What was that that I saw that from? Um, I think if you didn't want to do all that extra stuff in here, but like I said, the rice is the carbs. I do have cauliflower rice, and I made like a pork fried rice with the cauliflower. It's not the same. Um, I have to retry that recipe. Once I have it perfected, I'll do a video on that as well. Um, uh, I get the small bag for a dollar at the store. I'll show up the cup and it's so fried pan butter. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Greg. The taco is delish. Oh, <laughs> that's done. I'm like, oh, you had a taco too? Good show, Mario. Uh, it is one of the things I've been having. This is a, you'll see this in the video. It's going to go live tomorrow at uh, noon. Uh, and, you know, Eastern Standard Time, just before noon, because that's, I would have did it tonight, but no one watched it tonight. So just before lunchtime, I think, uh, will be a good time for that video I put out. But these, uh, have no taste, according to Donna, but I think they do. I use the plain ones for the recipes, but this is a good substitute for chips, zero carbs. You can get them flavored. You can, uh, I forget the word. It's, uh, pork rind something, but it, bits of the pork is still in there um, but these are expensive to buy online I looked at Amazon ridiculous price uh, Christmas tree shop has these but this container which is uh, eight ounces is five bucks however it cures you know that itch that you have for chips okay, I could pop it in. one more well, one more. I thought I was going to do good and only have a 45 minute uh, live, but uh, that was seven minutes ago. I uh, sorry, three months and five days. I lost 43 points. Four pounds, but that was a few days ago. I went up over the weekend because of Easter and the eating, but I'm still 43 pounds down as of today. 43.2, if you want to be technical. So I hope and expect by Friday I'll be back and maybe I'll hit that magic number. But not the way I'm eating today. Um. Oh, Black Rifle, yes. Um, uh, what's his name? Is it Matt? Matt, uh, uh, he has a, I think it's Black Rifle. Yeah, it's Matt. He does the YouTube videos as well. Funny guy. Uh, funny YouTube videos. He did a movie. Uh, if it's the same company, I forget what it was called, but it was a, a few years ago. Um, Range 15 or something like that. It was like a zombie movie. It was kind of funny. Um, Terry, have you had bulletproof coffee while on keto? Okay, so, good question. I don't drink coffee. I tried it like twice, and I really tried it the second time. I just can't stand the taste. Now, um, the, what's the name of those coffee cups, Donna? The K-Cups. The K-Cups there. Our work has like 10 different flavors of uh, coffee and teas. And I went through and tried them all, and I got about a sip of it. And I just cannot stand the taste. Um, I figured I could deal with the tea. Um, <clears throat> the tea itself. The only tea that I've had that I could stand is when I go to the Chinese restaurants and I would get the little teas, you know, about this big. But I would put like six sugars in it. And that was the only way I could tolerate it. Um, I'm just going to go quick. Um, what? Um, sorry, Jean, I missed you. What kind of tablet? This is a... Uh, uh, a Pixel C tablet. Um, it's now a few generations old. Um, this was supposed to be kind of Google's answer. You can get a keyboard for it, which I have. But they were supposed to upgrade this to like the Google Chrome OS at some point. But they never did. And unfortunately, now this is not going to be useful to me all that much longer because Google's going to stop offering the uh, upgraded stuff to it. I really wish they would have had the Chrome OS for this. I really lost out. I bought the keyboard and now I don't even use it. Or I never I used it once. 
but uh, it's not bad tablet. Um, I wish I had a data plan after I bought it. I said, I'm going to return it because I can't get a data plan on it, and it was too late. But I've had this for many years. You know. uh, I apologize that I missed that. Uh, Jean and Janet, I, I think I replied to you. Thank you, Janet. I appreciate that. <clears throat> so, there we go. Let's give this a final stir. Yep, the water, the fluids evaporating nicely in here. I have to pull out a big Tupperware bowl for this, I'll tell you. But, this is about what I would have for lunch. About this much of a scoop. I can't let it uh, drain out because I don't have... Uh, let's see if I can get this over here. Ugh. There we go. That's a little bit more than that is a lunch scoop. And there's like, I don't know, 10 scoops in there. So, you're probably talking the way I would eat it. Might be about five carbs or something like that worth of food for a meal, but that's okay. I'll allow myself 20 carbs, and I don't count carbs, I just try to keep it as low as possible based on what I know. And if I'm hungry for a snack, uh, I buy a big block of cheese. I have to just buy another one than a cracker barrel. Uh, this right here. I'll cut it up into small cubes and then I'll throw it in a bag and if I'm in the morning when I start to get real hungry, I'll have two cubes, maybe three, and that just cures the hunger. <clears throat> and if I'm feeling really hungry, like tomorrow morning I'll feel really hungry because I ate late, um, I'll have a, a slice of pepperoni, a couple of slices of pepperoni. But again, that's all high cholesterol type foods and high cholesterol isn't, has, has not been nice to me. I think that's all the comments I have here. Let's see what the clock is. I try to keep these at an hour. We are at 58 minutes. We still got uh, five people on. Not the 16 originally there, but I take what I can get. Uh, that being said, uh, thank you for joining me. I wasn't expecting to film a second video tonight. I used to do two a day. Uh, but I figured, hey, I'll show you what I'm up to, and if you have questions, again, I always appreciate your uh, coming on, saying hello, supporting the channel. Uh, it, it drives me to do more, and I have a video coming out for you tomorrow. Um, one of my favorite foods I like to make in the air fry because it's quick finger foods, but I added a, a keto twist to it, um, and they tasted great. I won't tell you what it is. You'll have to wait for tomorrow's video. So make sure you watch it. 11.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So New York time. That works for you. So thank you very much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell so you know when I put out a new video. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. No way if I don't plug Twitter, folks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Big mess to clean.